Good morning, my friends. Yesterday, we talked about Asa, the king of Judah, and um, his good reign, 41 years he reigned. He, the scripture says he totally gave his heart to the Lord. However, in the northern kingdom, the kingdom of Israel, they were going through kings, um, well, like water almost. Asa's 41 years covered seven kings of the northern kingdom. Actually, he came in at the end of the reign of Bo, uh, Jeroboam of the northern kingdom. And then there was Jeroboam's son, Nadab, and then Basha, and Elah, and Zimri, who only lasted seven days, and then Omri, and then a man that many of us are familiar with, Ahab. So uh, seven kings uh, during the time of uh, Asa's reign in the south. Now, the kingdom of the north was becoming so wicked. In fact, when we read in chapter 16, verse number 33, about Ahab, who came in the uh, 38th year of, of uh, Asa's reign, uh, he began to reign in the northern kingdom. But the scripture says in verse number 33, that Ahab did more to provoke the Lord, the God of Israel, to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. In other words, it seemed like the progression of, of worse became more worse. It was just uh, the, the kings of the north were just getting so corrupt. And, uh, but here's a good thing. God still loved them. He was still reaching out for them. And he brought a prophet on the scene uh, in the time of Ahab that um, was there to try to bring them back into relationship with him. And that prophet's name was Elijah. Now, Elijah, the scripture tells us, uh, when he came on the scene, he began, I mean, we just, it's interesting how scripture introduces him. In, in fact, it doesn't introduce him. He just comes on the scene, it seems like. But God had somebody there to minister to the northern kingdom uh, because of their, their corruption. But Elijah began to perform miracles and to show uh, how great a God was and that he still reached out for them and trying to bring them back into relationship. Uh, they, he predicted a drought. He, uh, there was the uh, miracle of the oil and the flour for the widow of Zarephath, uh, the raising of her son. And then, of course, the big uh, confrontation uh, with the prophets of Baal. Now, in chapter number 18, verse 17 and 18, Ahab, when he met Elijah and saw Elijah, he accused Elijah of troubling Israel. Now, that, what's happened to Ahab is he's calling wrong right and right wrong. Uh, we, we can understand a lot of that in our culture today. But notice what he says when he meets Ahab, Eli, uh, uh, excuse me, when Ahab meets Elijah, in verse 17, he said, Is it you, you troubler of Israel? And he answered, Elijah answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you have and your father's house, because you have abandoned the commandments of the Lord and followed the Baals. Now remember, Asa commanded his people to follow the Lord, but Ahab has uh, commanded them not to follow the Lord. He has, he has uh, left the commandments of God. And then we look in verse number 21, uh, of, um, uh, and it says here, uh, now when, when Elijah was confronting the prophets of Baal, uh, he says to them, he came near to all the people. He says, how long will you go limping between two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. So what Elijah was doing was giving them a choice saying, look, you can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and Baal at the same time. And so the people are listening. You know, he brought them all up there and the people are listening. But the, the point that I'm trying to make this morning is that God still reaches out to the sinner, to the person, no matter how corrupt that corrupt they are. He still reaches out to them. And we see it in this story. So I, I want to challenge you today, and I know that we all have maybe family or friends or people that we know, neighbors that 
that seem pretty way out there, that seem pretty corrupt, that are not following the words of God. And, and I want you to know that God still reaches out to them. He still loves them and he still cares. There's a prophet. You may be the prophet uh, that will go to them and help them and show them that there is a God in heaven uh, that cares about them, that's more powerful than any God that they serve. We see on that uh, uh, mountain when when Elijah confronted those prophets of Baal, it was the the God who who uh, proved himself by fire. You can read the story over in chapter uh, 18. But the God who proved himself by fire, that was the true God. And it was uh, the God that you and I serve today. And I'm telling you, God wants to prove himself to people for he is the one and only true God. Let me pray for you today. Father, we just pray for our people today. And we just ask that you will go before us God, I pray that no matter who we meet and no matter how difficult that uh, others uh, may seem, they may seem like they don't love you and they, they don't care about anything about God. Lord, you still reach out to them. And I pray, God, you'll give us a heart of compassion to reach out to those who are lost that don't know you. Give us a great day today. Bless us. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you you as we pick up this story. Bye-bye.